Welcome back. Through multiple interviews with the University of Texas and students, Fox 7 has heard of the growing crime threat on campus. Now university leaders have a plan to hire more officers and install security upgrades, including halo cameras. A total of $8 million will go towards security over the next four years. Now here to break this all down about student safety is Safe Horns President Joelle McNew. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you. Now this investment in safety focuses on West Campus and the spike in crime. What are your thoughts on this plan? Um, we want to definitely thank Governor Abbott and Regent Kevin Eltive because we believe strongly that we wouldn't be seeing this if it wasn't for them. Um, we think it's a fantastic start. We met with President Fenfes and Chief Carter on the 17th to hear their plan. You know, we've been advocating, we are a nonprofit, we are not affiliated with the UT Austin system, and we've been advocating for the USC safety model basically since our inception based upon them being a campus in an urban environment. So some of these things are things that are part of that. Um, the extended patrol zone is something that was very important to us. So this is a good start um, in terms of making change and crossing over into off campus. And recently we got word that a Caritas shelter would be built on West Campus and there's been some homeless related crime issues in that area. Do you have any concerns about this shelter? I think um, the biggest concern that we have is West Campus is primarily a student neighborhood. That's why it was created um, to house students um, from UT Austin in close proximity to the university. Um, students recently through the city of Austin, they're doing away with housing over in Riverside, which is affordable for students who can't live in West Campus because of the cost. So if anything was going in West Campus, we would want it to be 100% affordable housing for students. For this property, you know, again, other issues we've had with the city of Austin is communication. There's been no communication regarding this proposed property. It was unanimously approved by the city for the um, proposal to send in the application. And now we want, you know, more feedback of the vetting process. But in terms of fair housing, um, it's protected. So a lot of questions that people have are who is going into this property? Is it required that they have resources? How come the community wasn't notified? How come we aren't focusing on affordable housing for UT students? And have you gotten the chance to talk to students? How are they reacting to this? Well, it goes both conversations. Number one, students need and want affordable housing. We have students with food insecurities. We have students that are couch surfing, students reportedly living out of their cars. So if we're going to put in housing, with a tax incentive, why isn't it student housing? Again, with the new safety model that uh, UTPD has rolled out, it goes back to Rio Grande. This property is back at 24th and San Gabriel. Um, recently, we had students that were robbed, um, armed robbery in that area. So it's definitely an area that we need to see improved safety first. And there needs to be more conversation with the community, which are constituents of students and stakeholders and residents who live in that area and allow them to have input um, on what their thoughts are for this property. All right, well, we're out of time, Joel McNew. Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you.